Ahead on this week's CAL FIRE report, you may have less than two minutes to escape if fire breaks out in your home. The steps you can take now to prepare. How CAL FIRE works year round to create wildfire resilient communities. Don't let your guard down. Why we all need to stay vigilant against wildfires, even with the cooler weather and rain. Thanks for joining us this Monday, October 10th, 2022. I'm CAL FIRE Battalion Chief Isaac Sanchez. Here are the fire statistics for the week. Although no major fires have broken out in areas that CAL FIRE has responsibility for, we have responded to 121 new fires over the last week. CAL FIRE would like to remind you that while we are experiencing cooler temperatures statewide, we are still in peak fire season. Wildfires can and do burn year round, including during periods of cooler weather and intermittent rain. Be prepared for wildfire by creating defensible space, which will help to protect your family and your home. Learn how at readyforwildfire.org. This week is National Fire Prevention Week, and the theme this year is Fire Won't Wait, Plan Your Escape. The focus is knowing what path to take if a fire breaks out in your home. Here are some things you can do to prepare. Sit down with your family to develop a fire escape plan, which identifies two ways out of each room, and remember to practice them at least twice a year. Be ready to help those who need assistance during an evacuation, such as children, the elderly, and those with limited mobility. Keep your exit routes clear of obstacles. Predetermine a meeting location outside and away from the home. And finally, install smoke alarms inside every sleeping area, in hallways outside of sleeping areas, and on every level of your home. You may have two minutes or less to escape from the time the smoke alarm sounds, so preparation is key. For more information about fire prevention practices, visit www.fpw.org. Lately, you may have noticed some prescribed burn notifications on your local CAL FIRE unit's social media pages. Across the state, these fuel reduction projects are conducted to promote natural regeneration of native vegetation, enhance wildlife habitat, and protect watershed values. For example, last week in the San Mateo Santa Cruz unit, CAL FIRE crews and partner agencies completed a 20-acre burn on a watershed in the jurisdiction of the San Francisco Public Utilities Commission. Uh, the crews got together, put the plan into action, and uh, this is a result of what, uh, what a, good, a good solid burn looks like. Preventing fires is, of course, a vital part of CAL FIRE's mission and that includes protecting Californians from suspected arsonists. CAL FIRE's law enforcement officers arrested 20 suspected arsonists in September, bringing the total so far this year to 141 arrests. If you suspect or see suspicious fire activity, call the arson hotline at 800-468-4408. For the latest updates on large wildfires, follow us on Twitter and Facebook, and for tips on how to protect your family and home in a disaster, visit readyforwildfire.org. That's the CAL FIRE report for October 10th, 2022. I'm Battalion Chief Isaac Sanchez, and have a safe week.